Hi, I'm Sarah Stonecipher, owner of Miss Red Outfitters in downtown St. Pete. And welcome to my channel where we talk all things brick and mortar retail. We're gonna dive in today and talk about how to make displays shoppable from all sides. Have you ever dreamed of opening your own clothing store? Would you love to be a larger part of your local community? Or maybe you already have an online shop, but wanna take the leap into a physical location. Well, join me as I pull back the curtain on all things brick and mortar. And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on how to grow and thrive in your own retail storefront. If you already own a retail store, the biggest problem is space. If you don't already know that, <laughs> learn it going forward because your entire life will be figuring out how to optimize the space that you already have. A really good way to do that is by making displays shoppable from no matter where the customer walks up to engage with it. This is a great example of a display that is shoppable from this side, this side, and even this side. If we made the display where it was front facing here, the only customers that would be able to engage with this display, i.e. pick things up, smell it, wanna buy it, would be the ones coming from this angle. By creating the, a display that is shoppable from no matter where the customer walks into the room, you are making it as easy as humanly possible for your customers to purchase things. And that's what you want, right? That's the goal of brick and mortar. Now, this is an example of a single display that does that, but really what I wanna dive into today is how to create larger displays on your sales floor that operate in the same way. This is a really great example. So I think one of the things that people get caught up in is placing a display somewhere in their store and again, only making it shoppable from one side. Maybe that's a rolling rack. You have a single rolling rack or a shelving unit. What happens there is only one person at a time can shop from this display. If you make it shoppable from all four sides and use four separate products while you're doing it, you can engage four customers for essentially the same amount of square footage. Here we have a display that has lots of different variety. So we did this on purpose. You can see I have a black metal display, a shorter white table, we have clothes, we have wicker. That's so that each individual product really has its own identity and it's not melding together into one big glob of a display. So here we have a great jewelry line. It's a bohemian, has some great stones to it. But if I'm standing here and I'm shopping from this, I am not in the way of any other customers. Then you can come around to this display, which is a completely separate customer. The person who's going to buy these chunky jewelry is very different than the person that's going to buy our dainty 14 karat. I did this on purpose. That way, no matter what customer is walking over here, we will capture their attention. So we made this look completely different than this right? This is light and bright. It's even lower. That's to break the eye's gaze and make people, A, stop and realize it's a completely separate brand and display, but also to make them stop because there has a, a big visual interest in the change of the way it's displayed. Then we come over here and again, it's a completely different display. We have these local candles that are very earthy. She's from the beach. There's seashells and all the candles. And so if we put it on this wicker, but really it's to, again, break the eye up and make sure that people realize it's a completely separate display. So if somebody is coming from this direction, we are gonna capture them. They're not looking at the back of a rolling rack or the back of one of our um, jewelry displays. So if somebody is gonna stand here and they wanna smell every single one of these, they have their own little area. They're not in the way of anything and still people can shop. Then you come around the corner and again, you have its own moment with the clothes. 
I love breaking up product displays with different elements. Maybe it's throwing clothes in next to a candle, next to jewelry, or throwing purses in next to clothes and shoes. This helps the customer really understand that this is its own display, but it stops them in their tracks instead of just being overwhelmed by racks and racks of one product. So, again, Someone can shop right here. They're not in the way of somebody who's just spending 15 minutes smelling all the candles. They're not in the way of somebody looking for the perfect pair of earrings to go with the dress they just tried on in the dressing room area. It is shoppable from all sides in a very condensed amount of space. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe if you want to learn all the things about brick and mortar retail. And if you have any questions, I love to hear it. Ideas for different videos, whatever you want, I want to help you. Thank you so much. Again, I'm Sarah Stonecipher with Miss Red Outfitters.